Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily create an amazing website with Tilda. So let's start. The first thing you want to do is just simply click here, edit the website when you come here on Tilda. If you already own the account guys, completely skip this step. Now you want to click sign up and then I'm going to add a name. So it's going to be Marcus, email address and password and click sign up. Okay, and here we are. So in the moment when you can do it, the first thing you have to do is to create a new website and name a project. So let's say I'm going to create a landing page. Landing page yoga teacher or something. Let's press create and voila. So there are going to be two things that are really important. We can create a new page, but right before that, let's click here site settings. Here we're going to have a few settings that we can change the website title, the website description, best yoga teacher ever. Then you can have custom subdomain and you can even add your own domain. Fonts and colors and you can choose the size and wave and edit the custom settings right here the Google fonts and you can really change the fonts and everything here. Homepage. If you can have like plenty of pages, you can simply choose a homepage right here. Then we're going to see domain. Here you can uh, activate it and purchase a tilde and then have like your own domain. Analytics. You can view statistics here. You can connect your Google Analytics SEO. So these are available all on the paid plans that you can have. You can simply export your web. Forms, you can have uh, data collection services. So let's say that you can have simple email here. Then header and footer. Actions, and this is pretty much it and permissions so you can have permissions for your website and membership. So let's say that we have this and when we go back to dashboard, save changes, close, we can start creating a website. So how to create a website? Let's click here next to the site settings, create new page. And here you have option if it's going to be, let's say business, store, event, block contacts so let's say this would be like you can preview a website and let's say i like this one here that i'm going to use so i'm going to click on the right side create a page and now here we are this simply right so the your website always have a pages and then uh, your website is going to have sections this is everything a section now you can always click on the top left and you can change the menu here, how it looks like and switch. Then you can simply click settings here. And now we talk about the header. This is the first thing that I'm going to show you how you can operate the header. So I'm going to click on here and I can edit the content or settings. I can change the menu items. So as you can see, these are the menu items that I can link to blog about us. So I can link to blog. So let's say when I'm going to click on a contact as I'm going to get right here. So see contact when someone is going to click on it, uh, what will happen? They will be linked in, but of course you can link it to new window or link to page. So this is how you can edit the menu items here. Then you have logo here. You can add your logo. So let's say yoga teacher and you can even upload an image of yourself as a yoga teacher and link it. Of course, you can simply like even move your menu items. Then you can have the share buttons here. If you want to have it, you don't have to have it there completely up to you social media links even if you're gonna have them in your header you can edit it 
buttons burger menu link button link you can edit that too and that's pretty much it now when you have it these are the most important thing with the menu items see yoga teacher we have a logo here about us contact services now when i'm going to click on a contact i'm directly forwarded to the contact on the page then uh, you can keep content on switch the chosen blog may look unbalanced and you can simply switch between multiple options see then i can again click settings and i can change the background scroll effect static or if it's a fixed or parallax then you can change the height the width and you can even change the colors here so filter end color filter start color see and here we are again so main settings you can change the menu position behavior, menu background, menu items. So again, you can change the colors here. Sorry, I clicked on a header here. I want to click here and you can have option to choose uh, the how it's going to move your header. Then the menu background, menu background, then you can change the colors here, menu items, uh, the alignment, if they're going to be in the right. If I'm going to be in the center, all the menu is going to change to the center. So you can really switch to whatever you want and optimize it as much as you want. I won't really get into it. What else you can achieve? If you can have any questions about menu, ask me down in comments. I'll be really happy to help you. Sub menu settings. Again, if you can have sub menu in your menu, uh, you can optimize it right here. Logo and horizontal line. And this is pretty much it. So this is how we can edit a header. Now, when I'm going to click on a header again, I want to show you. So when you're going to have the menu items here, you can even add sub items. So let's say that I can add a sub item for contact for work. Our work story. And as you can see, we have it right here. Click save. Now, as you can see, we got it right here. And this is pretty much it, how you can do it. So, yep. And you can work like this. Save and close. And yeah, you can even preview it, how it looks like. And really play around it as much as you want. So here you can simply edit the content. Now, what about the header and what you can achieve? Of course, this is like simply edit section. So how to work with the sections? I would click plus here. And now you have option to add a cover. See? Then I have option to add about. Title. Text block image gallery impact phrase direct speech features so what we can achieve what we can do together columns and divider and menu so this is pretty much it and then we can go even further right these are many of like footer is free too these are like all the sections that you can add I won't really get into every single one of them because you can simply scroll and find which one you want to choose. But let's say that I'm going to do something now, guys. So let's say that I'm going to go on the dashboard. I'm going to start the new website. Oh, give me a second. I'm going to delete this one here. And I would like to, I would like to like edit everything here and yeah, like this okay so blank page and i want to show you how it would look like to do it so first more blocks first we are going to start with the cover bank so we have the first thing here what i can do then is to click plus here and let's say that i'm going to add a menu like this 
but I want to move it further. So you can always move everything on the right top side. You're going to see duplicate. You're going to see delete. You're going to see hide. You can cut, copy, paste and select and then you can move it. Of course, then you can simply change the thanks for being here with us. Right now I'm going to even further so I can click plus here. So directly about under page is going to be about us like this, then let's say I want to simply add um, gallery of the images. Okay. Oh, but right about us, I want to have a small text here or title. And watch our journey in photos. And what I can do is to edit the settings here bottom padding one line see so we can really optimize and change the padding change the alignment change the top and bottom padding right and then i can change the change the colors here change the photos now when we go even further i can simply click plus here i can let's say now would be the features you can even add a column. So features would be like this. What we are good at. And you can add a quality support the price. See. And then uh, we can change here the photos, the logo, the everything. Then we go even further. I can, let's say when we have this, we can find the contact. Let's say contact us here. And then uh, let's say we services we already had. We can find footer and at the bottom of the web page footer. See? And now we have perfect website in a matter of minutes, actually. And you can always come here and change the content. Click on the settings and change the logo, the menu items, the typography and everything. So this is pretty much it, how we can do it. And it's nothing difficult to do. And Yeah. So if you can have any questions about this, ask me down in comments. Now I can go again, click plus here and you can add even reviews or pricing plans, social media buttons. So other people can choose an ad. And when you have it, what you can do on undo, you will just go back. You can preview the website, how it looks like. And it looks really good. So you can have a website like this in a matter of minutes created, but of course you can play around it, add everything. Then you can also switch on a preview on mobile, how it looks like. Then you have option to add on tablet. And what you can do is go back to editing. And then uh, you're going to have Publish. You can open the page here and voila. So now you can link it to any, everyone and they would get on the website pretty simply, pretty easily. And by this, you can create amazing website completely for free and you don't have to do like anything. And this is why it's really amazing. Now, If you can have any questions about how we can uh, create it. And what you can do more, ask me down in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you. And yep, the next thing I'm going to also show you guys is how we can easily create a block. So let's say I have a landing page and I have multiple pages here. 
what you can do is to create always a new page. But I want to show you one thing is how we can easily create block and how we can work with blocks. Now, I would click here, create a new page. I would click on a block and then corporate block here. Let's say create. And let's say create a page. So what do you mean guys is that you would need you would need a few things here. This is like the image with the text. And when you're going to click on it, it's always going to add to new page. Uh, having tilde on block, I would definitely recommend if you want to create a block on a tilde, I wouldn't recommend having plenty of uh, like block because there are like always a new page. So that's what I would definitely recommend. So you can again, what is this? This is a uh, 12 column, you can edit the content, then you can simply click on it and edit it and you would click plus here, right? Let's say this would be text block and I can add a title and start writing right here and start writing a text. I can simply add here. columns. So you see right here that we're going to see the plenty of columns that you can use with the image. And now when I have this, <clears throat> click and find out how you can do amazing yoga. And now when I have it, I can simply link it to new page that I would create, which would be only the one block there, right? The one page. So you can simply have something like this. I can duplicate it even. See, change the content, change the everything. And then have it. So my recommendation is definitely work with the pages, work with templates. That's a really good way how we can do it. And this is pretty much it, how we can create a website. So this was a tilde tutorial, how to use tilde for the beginners. If you can have any questions, ask me down in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you. And yeah, have a great day guys and goodbye. See ya.